Give Blood, Save a Life. New Jersey State Senator Kip Bateman hosted a blood drive at Robert Wood Johnson University Medical Center Steeplechase Cancer Center in Somerville on Monday. Since 1979, he's donated 29 gallons of blood, not pints, gallons. Gallons. Wow. Oh God, so good for him. Can you imagine? It has a lot gallons. Of blood. Oh. Yeah. I have a lot of scar tissue. Oh. And you have to, have to either go above it or below it. And when they go, they can actually feel when they go through it, it hurts. Okay, that's too gross for TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't put that on TV. <laughs> many people, many patients, in particular cancer patients, require a lot of blood. So uh, it's all strictly volunteer. This is the worst part for me, the stick. The pinch? Yeah, and nobody, and nobody likes to stick me because they know that I jump sometimes. Blood donation helped save Casey Cattell's little family. Casey went to the hospital October 2015 and didn't realize her life was hanging by a thread. Casey is a blood recipient and a survivor. One week after giving birth to her son, she had internal bleeding and needed five liters of blood in the ER. So Casey tells a powerful story about how important donating blood is to all of us. I was, um, I was likely within an hour of death. What we didn't know at the time was that I had been bleeding internally for close to 48 hours. Kip's blood type is O negative, which means it can be donated to all patients, and only 7% of the U.S. population is O negative. Kip's goal is to get the word out. The emergency blood supply is low in New Jersey and has to be donated by very willing participants. These donations specifically go to the hospital's cancer center. I stepped up to donate myself, but I have a rolling vein, so the nurse wasn't able to draw blood for me. You have like a rolling vein probably. So it can't work. No, that's why I had her adjust it. Okay. So I was sent home and told to drink more water. It's a solution to everything. Yeah, right, I know. So each year, October 11th, Casey will celebrate her survival date by going back to donate blood. So, um, your arm. They tried several times. I think Ooh. I was almost passed out Whoa. when they were doing yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I tried. So, so the so rolling vein is because your vein actually moves. Yeah. Right? How about that? I never heard of that. But Jess, I mean, I'm looking at your arm. It, it looks awful. Was it painful when they missed your vein? I felt like I was going to pass out. But honestly, I kind of wish I had had the opportunity to do it. I'm really disappointed. I have a rolling vein, and I'm no good. 